We're trying to put the candidates through a real-world type scenario where a power company has been uh, blackmailed. Uh, they're about to launch a new product, uh, some kind of smart meter, and some bad guys have installed some uh, malware in that device, which is about to be shipped, so there would be a huge kind of reputational hit as well as the large cost involved of recalling all the devices and re-initializing re them. The various games that they go through take them through the scenario as they would in real life. So they've been called in by the company as the expert advisors, the expert forensics teams. But they've identified a number of potential um, employees who are suspects. They've got to try and find which of the eight is really responsible and whether they're working with anybody else inside or outside the company. The scenario that they've set up today in the Cybersecurity Challenge is so true to life. When I walked in there today, um, I thought I was walking into one of our offices because it really does reflect the type of crime and the threats that we need to be alive to and have the skills and capability to respond to. What we're looking for in candidates is a combination of technical ability, um, reasoning, ethics, teamwork, um, communication skills. It's a good opportunity to try out things that you haven't done before and test your skills. You find out what your weaknesses are so you know where you're not as strong and then it allows you to develop those weaknesses. The way this is organised gives people an opportunity to to consider areas of career that, that wouldn't normally be open. So one of the difficulties with these sorts of things is it's, it's a fairly uh, esoteric, it's slightly closed if you don't know where to start, whereas something like this gives people the opportunity to show what they can do. We have a whole range of people. Our youngest contestant this year is 16 and our oldest contestant is 56. Uh, and I'd broadly categorise them into um, people who are getting their first step on the ladder um, and those who are career changers. In March last year we had 42 contestants, 37 of whom are now working in industry. 42 in November, 35 now working in industry. We have 42 here having replaced nine who between the competition that qualified them for the masterclass and today found jobs in industry, most of them with the sponsors who ran the face-to-face -face competition that they were playing in. We work very closely with the government's uh, national cybersecurity strategy. Uh, we are part funded by the uh, investment that comes out of the national cybersecurity strategy and uh, a big part of the government strategy is about capacity building and that's about training uh, and education and development of people uh, and development of capabilities and, and that's exactly where we play to that, uh, that part of the agenda.